this is gonna be a video on what's in my travel makeup bag. I am currently in Los Angeles. If you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you will already know that, but I am here, I'm home for a bit. So um, I thought it was kind of the perfect time to tell you guys what I take with me on trips. And this is a good one because this was actually a longer trip. So I took a, a bit more options and obviously you can customize it if you know, you're know you going away for a weekend, maybe bring a little bit less. And if you're going away for longer, then maybe bring a little bit more. But this is just a general understanding of what I personally bring with me when I travel. So this is the makeup bag that I always travel with. I love this bag so much because it's clear. And like that may not be such a big deal to some of you, but honestly it makes such a big difference for me personally because I can see everything that I'm traveling with. It's easy to find products when I'm getting ready in the morning and it's easy to make sure I'm organized and make sure I have everything with me that I need. So I love this bag. This one I got at the container store, so I'll be sure to link it down in the description box. You already know though, every single product that I mentioned in this video will be linked below as I always do. I list every product in every video, but just the just a little heads up. It's gonna be linked below. I honestly highly recommend this bag. It's not very expensive either, and it's just so handy because it, look how much stuff I have in here. I mean, it fits a lot, and it's really, really nice. So when we open up the makeup bag, the first thing that I have kind of packed on top are these uh, Ziplocs with um, my brushes and basically my tools. I know, it's kinda, I don't know, it looks a little janky, but it works really well for me. Um, I find that the Ziplocs, even if they get dirty, cause you know, the brushes you're gonna be using all the time, even if they get dirty, it doesn't really matter. You can just throw them away and it's really easy, again, to see everything that you're bringing. And then this one has all my tools, so like tweezers, um, eyelash curler, eyelash glue, pencil sharpener, things like that. That's what I keep in this little guy. I know, I have a lot of Ziplocs. Tim literally calls me the Ziploc queen. I like to own that title because I really love using Ziplocs when I'm traveling. It's like one of my biggest travel tips because like I said, you can just see everything that's inside. So I'm gonna quickly go through these brushes, but I don't wanna spend too much time on them because I have a lot more to get through. When I'm packing my makeup brushes, I always go in chronological order in my head and just list out all the things that I need. So I'll say, you know, do I have a foundation brush? Do I have a concealer brush? Do I have a contour brush? And all that jazz. So that is my little trick to make sure I don't forget one specific brush. And this is all the stuff I brought. So I've got my foundation brush. I actually use this for foundation and concealer. This is the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki. I've got tons of other brushes. Honestly, I don't know that I should go over each each and every one. Um, I could maybe do that in a different video, but I just feel like it's gonna take forever to go through every single brush, but I will list every single one that I brought down in the description box, just, you know, if you are interested, but honestly, I feel like brushes are pretty particular to you. Um, whatever you are using at the time, you should pack what you use on a daily basis, obviously. So, I will list these all down below, but just know I covered all the bases here. Alrighty, now moving on to makeup. The first thing is primer. Um, this is the Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist from Hard Candy. I love bringing this with me when I travel, and I always do because this is A, a primer, but it also can act as a setting spray. So I just think both ways, it's very easy to apply. Obviously, you just, you know, boop, 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 spray it on. Plus, it's kind of like a two-in-one because you're getting your primer and your setting spray in one. Foundation is a little bit tricky for me just because a lot of my favorite foundations are in glass bottles and I personally am just a little bit paranoid when it comes to things like this. I just have this fear that my foundation bottle is just going to go bloop all over everything and to avoid that um, I do always try to pick foundations that have a more safe <laughs> container. Luckily, I do have one favorite foundation that is in this little container right here. This is the Benefit Hello Flawless Foundation. This is such a good foundation, you guys. It has a very nice coverage. It has a very nice finish. It has this really handy little plastic bottle and it's super easy to, you know, pump out. This is the perfect foundation for traveling in my opinion because I love the formula. I love the packaging. I feel safe about it. It does have SPF 25 so if you're going on like summer trips it's good for extra sun protection. So this is my absolute favorite foundation to travel with and I really do love the formula of it. It is definitely up there with one of my favorite foundations. I am wearing it today so this is what it looks like. 
When I'm traveling, I always, always, always bring my two favorite concealers, or I guess actually three, but this is the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Amazing. I mean, I've talked about this a million and one times. I use it underneath the eyes. It has such a beautiful brightening effect. It's very lightweight. It can be used, you know, on its own. It can really brighten up any look. It's great for natural looks. Such a versatile, versatile concealer. I also have to bring my Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. Um, I do have the, I do have two different shades, but I kind of mix and match depending on, you know, how dark my skin is or where I'm applying it. If I, you know, if I'm going for a more brightened look underneath the eyes and I will use the lighter one yada 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 but this concealer I also have to have with me because this is the most full coverage concealer I have ever used in my life I mean I have again talked about this a million times you guys probably already know I love it but I'm just this is what I bring when I travel every single time this does not change because this is for those surprise breakouts that happen or anything that needs a little slap of extra coverage this will be your best friend and this I use pretty much every single day underneath the eyes and <laughs> I always have to have these with me when I travel another face product that I have to have with me when I travel is this palette by NYX this is the color correcting concealer palette I absolutely love this palette and its drugstore price but it's so so handy to have with you when you're traveling because you get so many different shades it's compact I mean it'll fit really nicely anywhere and the the actual quality of the shades are really good. Um, again, just those little surprises that hit you when you're traveling, this really does come in handy. I'm, I definitely get, um, I'm more prone to breakouts when I'm traveling for some reason. And so the green one always comes in handy. You gotta get that redness out of there, right? And then the purple one for dullness, if you're tired from traveling, yellow for brightening, you guys know the drill. But I'm just saying, this is really handy to have with you when you're traveling, so I'm always sure to pack it. This is another item that I find really handy whenever I travel, just because it, again, is very compact. It's not, you know, a huge palette, but it does have a great formula. It's really easy to use. This is the, did I even say what it was? This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I have the shade Toast, so I use it for cream contouring. I did use it today and I just, again, find it very handy. It's easy to use, it's quick, and it is very compact, so that always goes in. Always have my beauty blender, of course. That is a given. And then um, these two powders are essentials for me. When I travel, I do not like to travel with a loose powder just because I feel like it's really messy. I, I just, personally, I don't like it. So these are my best friends. Um, so this, they're both Cover FX blotting powders. This is the shade Light, and this is what I use to set my entire face just because, like I just said, I don't like to travel with... Um, like loose powders because I find them kind of messy, kind of irritating to be honest. So this is perfect. Honestly, this is my absolute favorite setting powder though. So it's not really like a big issue for me not to have a um, translucent one or anything because this just melts into your skin. It gives you such a flawless finish. It really leaves my skin looking beautiful. And I absolutely love that it's a pressed formula. It's compact. It's really easy to travel with. So I just, I mean, this is my this is my life when I travel. And then another setting powder that I use while I'm traveling, I'm always, always sure to bring both of these actually. This is the Cover Effects Blotting Powder in the shade Deep. So this is what I use to set my contours. Um, so I guess you can consider it a contouring shade, but I just set my cream contours with this and I did use it today. Um, again, same benefits. It's just really easy to travel with these guys, the blotting powders from Cover Effects, because they're pressed, but they're very, very good formulas. They just melt into the skin. So they're amazing. These next few products are actually just like holy grail products of mine that I personally don't think that I could go any extended period of time without. So the first is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is such an amazing bronzer. It's my absolute favorite bronzer in the entire world. It is my go-to. So I honestly, like I said, I don't think I could go an extended time without it. This is such a beautiful shade for me. It smells good. Just, it brings me back, you know, and it has such a beautiful formula. It's very blendable, very, um, I don't know, I feel like it's very versatile. It just goes with every look, every skin tone. I absolutely love it. And then this guy, well, these two guys, highlight. I always bring my Mary Luminizer by The Balm just because it's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. I feel like I could wear this every day and never get tired of it. I am wearing it today and I just, mm, 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 girl, yes, highlight on fleek. I love this product so much. It just has such a beautiful undertone to it. It works when I am a little bit more tan. It works when I'm a little bit more pale. It just works 
all the time. Plus, I do use this actually as an inner corner highlight every single day of my life, so <laughs> I can't go without it because it just looks so beautiful. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite inner corner highlight ever. It is MAC um, Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. Such a beautiful blush. It just goes with every look. Um, it goes with, you know, I don't even know. It just goes with everything, really. So this is what it looks like. It has like a little bit of a peachy pink undertone but it's still a neutral shade it has a slight bit of like sheen to it because it is one of their mineralized blushes but it's just such a beautiful formula and color and I always bring it with me when I travel. Brows gotta be on fleek even when I'm away. So I always bring my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I mean, again, this is pretty personalized. For me, I work best with this, I found. I just always tend to go back with it. So right now, this is what I'm bringing with me. Obviously, this always changes as I try new products and stuff, but for now, for this trip, this is what I have with me. And then I've got my Milani Clear Brow Gel. This is one of my favorite products. I love this guy because it really does just, it locks them in place. And then, uh, this is this is a necessity, guys. This is the Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter Pencil. Such a, a beautiful uh, pencil. I've been using this for years and I always travel. Like, I literally cannot leave my house without it. So this is what the actual um, formula looks like. It's very creamy. I use it as a brow bone highlight every single Single day I do my brows and brows are on point with this guy because it really cleans it up. It has a bit of a thicker, creamy consistency, so it does kind of just clean everything up. It really blends out nicely. It highlights the area, but it gives it a matte highlight, which I personally like a lot. And <laughs> I always, always, always have to pack it. Now, eyeshadows, um, they're a little bit more uh, dependent on the type of trip. If I'm going on a longer trip, I will bring a Z palette with, you know, specific shades that I want to wear during the trip. If I'm going on a shorter trip, I'll probably just go with like one or two single shadows or even just like a small palette, like something like the Naked Basics palette or something along those lines, you know what I mean? But for this trip, because it was, I mean, I'm home for a couple weeks, so I wanted more options and this is what I got. So as you can tell, I do stick with a lot of neutral shades. Oh, why is that down there? <laughs> that just floated down there. But as you can tell, I really do stick with a lot of neutrals just because that's what I usually get the most use out of. Um, most of these are Anastasia shadows. This I could not live without. That is Anastasia Blanc. I use it every single day to set um, my eyeshadow base, which by the way is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I could not go a day without this. Like This is the only thing I ever use to prime my eyelids anymore just because I feel like it's so good at color correcting and then you really get a fresh base but that's that's besides the point but just throwing that in there because that's another thing that was in the bag but anyway so I use that to set I could not go without it it's the perfect shade for me and my skin tone and just really gives me a clean base and everything else blends out so easily on top of it then I've got a lot of transition shades um, like I was saying most of them are Anastasia Makeup Geek and Mac so I will list every single shade that I have here in the palette with me today down in the description box just because I don't want to waste too much time with this video just going through every single shade. But just know that I do pack a lot of neutrals that I feel would work for my skin tone. And then, and then moving down here, I just have a few extra cheek items because they're really easy to pop into the pan for the Z palette and everything. This is the Ofer Cosmetics Banana Powder. Amazing, you guys. I use it to set my under eyes and it really works well. I love, love, love that powder because it just it really just sinks into my skin and just makes me look flawless and then here we've got two Ben Nye blushes I've got blushing bride and natural and then a Ben Nye contour shade so that is what I keep in my Z palette when I travel like I said well okay not every time I travel but this is typically what I would bring this is just what I have with me on this trip but it is a little bit more um, ever-changing just because you can you know change out the shades and it depends what kind of trip I'm going on how long etc 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 usually for liner I'll bring two different options so the first one I have is the NYC liquid liner this is a really good liquid liner and I like to have it with me like I said because I like to have the choice of you know what kind of formula I want to use that day then the gel liner I always like to travel with is the Sigma Standout Eyes Gel Liner in Wicked because this is just this is just a very reliable gel liner for me. I just feel like I can always get my wings very sharp and I really like the um, formula of this guy. So and it's really black by the way. So these are the two liners that typically I travel with. Um, again this is a little bit more uh, of a product that I would I don't know it might change from trip to trip but let's just go with typically this is what I got. Too Faced, Better Than Sex Mascara 
It comes with me on every single trip, no matter where I'm going, what I'm doing, how long I'm going. This is my favorite mascara because one, it is waterproof. This is the new waterproof formula. So even if you know it's a summer trip or if you're going in a pool, you don't have to worry about it because it is waterproof. And then also the formula is just amazing. I have talked about it relentlessly, so I'm not gonna spend too much time about it on it. I mean, not about it, but too much time on it because you guys know I love the formula of it. It is my absolute favorite mascara and it's perfect for traveling because it is the waterproof one. Usually one pair of lashes is enough for me when I'm traveling so usually I'll bring the House of Lashes Iconics. These are just my go-to. These are just like such a beautiful lash for so many different types of looks. You can use it on a very simple look to really glam it up. You can use it on a smoky eye. These are such a great lash to travel with because of that versatility so that's usually what I bring. And then we can move on to some lippies. I do switch up lippies a lot um, again depending on where I'm going or what I'm doing but for sure, I'll bring some nice neutral lip pencils that will kind of be versatile and go with any lip color, you know what I mean? So I'll always bring Strip Down by MAC. This is more of like a little bit brown tone nude, but surprisingly this works for so many different um, lip shades, so that's really handy to have. I'll always bring, uh, which one is this, Cultured, and that is more of a neutral nude. It does have a slight pinky undertone, but it is really, really nice again, and this one is a pro long wear, so it lasts all all day long which is great while traveling and then finally I'll bring nice and spicy which is kind of in between the two almost it does have a little bit of like a rosy brown undertone so it's kind of like you got you covering all the braces here you know what I mean and I feel like with neutral liners you could wear them with anything because they are so close to your lip color your natural lip color so it's really handy to have neutral liners on trips I do bring a lot of lippy options just because I'm a lippy obsessed person so I do like to have tons of choices when I'm traveling because it can really change up a look depending on the lip color you have so let's just let's just dig right in the first thing that I have to mention is NYX soft matte lip cream in London no matter where I go I always bring this with me this is honestly one of my top favorite favorite lip products of all time the formula is amazing it's such a beautiful neutral I'll do a little swatch for you guys because you have to see how beautiful this shade is I recommend it to all my friends whenever I think about it because it's just such a beautiful shade beautiful tone for many different skin tones and it's just it's my go-to neutral honestly and plus the formula is amazing so you can really wear it all day long and not really have to fuss about it it doesn't like get dry or anything another shade of the soft matte lip creams that I have brought with me on this trip this is more like for me it's more like a summertime color so I probably wouldn't bring this with me if I was going somewhere in like the fall or winter but because it's summer like spring slash summer right now um, I did bring this with me. So this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Amsterdam. <laughs> Whoa, Amsterdam. So it's a orange toned red and again, formula is amazing. I just thought it was fun to bring with me since it is that time of season. So again, lips are a little bit more like Depends on the trip, obviously, and time of year. But this is so beautiful for this time of year. And then we got some more lippies. So this is one of my holy grail items, so I always have to bring it with me on every single trip that I go on. This is the MAC lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy. It is beautiful. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite MAC lipstick and favorite, one of my favorite lip products of all time. So again, always have to bring it with me to with me when I travel. Whoa, <laughs> I'm getting a little tongue twisted here. Um, um, this is one product that is a bit of a newer product, but I did bring it with me because I love the Anastasia um, formula of liquid lipstick. So this is the shade Ashton. It's a, a bit of a darker nude, but it's still very versatile. And I just like to have, again, a lot of options. So I try to bring nudes or neutrals that are a little bit different from each other so I can have a little bit of you know a variety of lip tones. This is another neutral that I love to death. This is a Bite Beauty Honeycomb. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It's so beautiful. I love the formula of these. They're so moisturizing. They actually do stay on for a pretty long time for being, you know, like just a normal moisturizing lipstick. I absolutely love this shade. So again, another lip product that I always bring with me. Honestly, the three products that I will bring with me, do or die, are the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London, Velvet Teddy from MAC, and then this guy from Bite Beauty because those are shades that I could just wear over and over again and never get bored of them. This is a shade called Buxom Sydney. This is, what is this product called? This is the full-on lipstick. 
This is another really beautiful shade. I like to wear this one on more like everyday makeup days when I'm traveling because it does have more of a sheer finish. But again, beautiful, beautiful color and beautiful formula. So I like to have this one with me when I travel as well. And then you gotta have a good gloss. So this time I brought the Jouer lip gloss in the shade Nude just because I've been absolutely loving the Jouer lip glosses. They have such an opaque formula and this shade is my actually my favorite. This is, like I said, Nude. So so beautiful and those are my lip shades that I bring with me when I travel. So that is a general overview of what I keep in my travel makeup bag and specifically what I have in my travel makeup for this trip um, when I have gone home for two weeks. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do get a lot of requests for stuff like this and I know it, I knew it would be handy just because we are going to summer and a lot of people go on summer vacations. So I just thought it would be nice for you guys to know like a little general guideline of what what I do keep with me when I travel and I don't know hopefully it was helpful like I mentioned at the beginning of the video I will list every single product every single brush every single tool every single eyeshadow every single thing that I have mentioned in this video down in the description box with links and everything so if you're interested in any of the things that I mentioned or checking anything out the makeup bag highly recommend by the way then just check down there and I will do that for you guys so if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up because it really helps get my name out there. And before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already a rock star. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love each and every one of you so, so much. I mean, I seriously cannot stress that enough. I say that at every single video, but I seriously do mean it because you guys are just such an amazing support system for me. You know, all of the subscribing and liking, and commenting, everything you do, I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.